This crypto news surrounding China has more of an impact than you think on your favorite cryptos going forward. The likes of HBAR, Jasmine, XLM, Stellar Lumens, you name it guys. I think something enormous is just about to happen. As someone who spent three years living in China up until last year, I've got some pretty deep insider scoop on what I think is really going on. And I'm gonna tell you all about that in this video. So do me a favor, hit that like button, hit subscribe. And let's get into today's video. Now you've seen various channels talking about what's happening in China with regards to crypto, but they're missing out on some pretty serious stuff. Now, this is what everyone basically is talking about. This is Kia Rohit's uh, Twitter, and he shared this new story, which is on CCTV, which is China's central television network. Now, this is seriously significant. Back in 2021, crypto was banned in China. For whatever reason, I have my own ideas on that. But the reason this is so significant, CCTV is a heavily guarded TV network. What is basically shared on that news channel has to go through various stages to ensure that it is filtering out any information that is non-appropriate or seem to be appropriate for the Chinese general public. Now, whether you agree with that or not, I'm not here to discuss that. I'm just saying that up until this point, things like crypto were pretty much heavily banned. They weren't talked about at all. Right now, we're seeing Hong Kong, a part of China, although with different ruling, now being able to have access to trading cryptocurrency. They're not going to have free reign of trading any cryptocurrency. And the narrative Chinese were told back in 2021 was that crypto was not safe, that we are not going to allow you to use it. We're going to protect you from trading crypto because it's full of scams. Probably not wrong. And they probably weren't wrong, to be honest. But you know, we're interested in crypto. There's loads of benefits, guys. We know that, okay? Whatever the narrative was, we know how it's working. And this is so big because it's indicating a move that China not just Hong Kong, is moving as a whole towards cryptocurrency. And we know that China is making huge moves right now. Its GDP is going to outstrip the US, I think, by about 2030. And it's probably going to be taking over the global market. Its digital yuan is going to be pushed as the global currency, replacing the US dollar. We know that China is basically the place to be. We know that China is making some huge, huge moves on a global stage. Now, we know that China and the US have to basically work together because so many products come out of China. US heavily relies on Chinese production. China relies heavily on export to the US. While there's this big tug of war tussle right now, these two economies must work together. But it's interesting because they were always trying to push each other and get one up on each other. And we're seeing way more regulations slide into the US with tons of things like the SEC investigating XRP and then delving in harder to things like Algorand and other cryptos. We're now seeing cryptocurrency suddenly starting to flow out of the US, moving to places like Dubai, Coinbase looking at moving to Dubai, You've opened up in Singapore, in Indonesia, Hong Kong, and now perhaps China may see this as an opportunity to take what is now a booming economy away from the United States. This could be a massive power play and the US could lose out massively for this. And if this is really what I think is happening, China is now gonna have a massive push in this area. And this particular piece of news, Beijing releases white paper for Web3 innovation and development. Now, China has a very interesting problem. And this is the problem here for China. You can see that over time, because of the way the population has been structured, they're starting to get an aging population. So what they've got is a workforce that is decreasing by the day and all the elderly people increasing in age. This is gonna cause a massive drama, okay? The Chinese economy is about to potentially struggle. So they need to be very resourceful in how they're building their economy going forward. Now, something else you probably haven't considered is that the majority of the money that was made in China was from production of various items. I'm talking everything in your house that's pretty much within an arm's reach of you right now was probably manufactured in China because the cost of production was low. However, because the development in China is happening so quickly, the cost of production becomes higher because you must start to pay individuals more money who are living in this developing country that's becoming more expensive all the time. Therefore, the production starts to flow out into other places surrounding China, such as Vietnam, Cambodia, Indonesia, etc. This is obviously all well and good, but then in order to keep the economy growing, you must start to branch out and become way more innovative. Therefore, China is now investing huge amounts of money into innovation areas, of which Beijing releasing a white paper for Web3 innovation and development is now indicating the government is pushing funding and money towards crypto development in China. This is unbelievably exciting because this indicates that going forward, China could be opening up to use 
cryptocurrency as an ecosystem. It's now got the second largest population in the world after recently being overtaken by India and that crypto as a whole could be about to explode if we move into China. And this is all happening at a time that we go and look at the trading charts and see something very significant playing out. Beijing's municipal government has unveiled a white paper to foster innovation and advance the Web3 industry. The Web3 Innovation and Development White Paper was released at the Dongguan Forum by the Beijing Municipal Science and Technology Commission, also known as the Administrative Commission of Dongguan Science Park. According to a local news outlet, the paper, the document recognizes Web3 technology as an inevitable trend for future internet industry development. This is very exciting, okay? We know that China needs to start to innovate more heavily and more aggressively. We know that it's got a huge aging population that it needs to suddenly start to look after. They're going to have to push into areas of development. And what better areas for development than Web3 and cryptocurrency? This is very exciting, especially off the back of the fact that the US is starting to move away from crypto. And as we look, and you're wondering, well, yeah, what does it mean? All the crypto charts I'm looking at right now are down. I get it, guys. We'll look at a few of them in a minute, like the likes of HVAR, XLM, ICP, a few of my favorites. And what we're seeing right now is actually quite exciting. Remember, Bitcoin always pushes first. I've talked about this flow chart before. We have Bitcoin moving and then the larger market cap coins like Ethereum, etc., moving and suddenly an explosion in the kind of like the larger cap coins, which are the likes of HBAR, Solana, uh, XLM, XRP, etc. But first of all, we will see a climb in Bitcoin dominance. And how do I know this? Well, this was basically the last bull market, okay? This was the last bull market. It booms and then it starts to ebb off as the rest of the market pumps. Uh, and then you get like a second wind. Right now, okay, we've been pumping a little bit here. And what we are, we're printing on the chart is very interesting for Bitcoin dominance, okay? Because we have printed this massive, massive W pattern. We are now trying to break through. Notice how we haven't been hard rejected here. We are starting to push above and retest this and push. Now, that indicates to me that Bitcoin could well start to tear in the next week or two weeks. We've got Hong Kong unlocking crypto in two days we've got upcoming meetings from the sec where i think where we could be about to see a stall in interest rate hikes this is the perfect storm for what is about to happen we've just had some pretty negative press coming out of the states right now about debt ceilings and all that jazz that for me is the kind of like the fear factor that's ebbed into the market and that is where we can see our opportunity so let's jump across and look at some of the other charts right now so this is an HBAR chart, and I've already talked to you about HBAR on this channel. We can see the buy zone that has developed here. How do I know this is buy zone? Well, guys, because I've told you before, these massive candles indicate big buying that came out of the area of consolidation before. We get the consolidation, we get the big buy. So what happens if big money wants to buy in an area? Well, they want to buy in that area if they get back into it. So what we can do is we can drag this box across. Uh, let's do that now. And you can see, once we get back into that zone, we're finding support, okay? So we know that it's more than likely you're gonna see a bounce for HBAR out of here. Now, what else is very exciting to see as well? This is a falling wedge pattern you can see very, very perfectly. And right now, HBAR does appear to be breaking out of this zone. This is a perfect setup for a trade, in my opinion. This would see HBAR in a short period of time, shifting to around 77% gains. Jasmine as well, looking a bit different from HBAR, but also sitting in this nice, healthy buy zone. You can see that we bounced out of it. We can see that we bounced out of it aggressively here, all the way back in January. We then got into it again back in March. Uh, and now, guys, we're bouncing in it again. I wouldn't be surprised to see Jasmine having a bounce out of this zone pretty soon, okay? In my opinion, obviously, this is not financial advice. You need to go and do your own research. If you are interested in buying the likes of Jasmine and you're interested in buying the likes of Gala, or whatever it is, then you've got to stop using Coinbase, guys. Coinbase is super expensive and you're like, well, I'm in the US. It's really difficult for me. I understand that. But there's an easy way, okay? And you need to use a VPN. And luckily, you can get three months for free using NordVPN link down below in the description. And then after that, guys, there's literally going to be $3.17 per month. That's like a coffee per month to be able to trade crypto super, super cheap using different exchanges other than Coinbase. You get a 30-day money-back guarantee for absolutely free, super secure, high-speed VPN. This is going to protect you against potentially losing your crypto to scammers and things like that. So for the cost of a coffee, you can potentially protect yourself from thousands and thousands of dollars of loss. Once you've got your NordVPN, 
I recommend then going across to BitGet, which is linked down below, guys. And if you deposit in there, there's going to be a bonus coming up, which I'm working exclusively with BitGet on over the next few days. And I'm going to be launching that very, very soon, guys. I recommend BitGet because the fees are super cheap. It's pretty much the fastest growing exchange out there. And I and they have such an incredible array of different coins and ICOs launching all the time, which is why it is my favorite. Now, jumping back to TradingView, I just want to explain a few things, right? All of these charts, I'm aware, look very different from one another. And I'm aware that if you don't understand how charts and things work, this can be a bit confusing. But all of them, if you'll notice, find themselves in one buy zone or another. All you've got to look is last time you were in this area, which we're at right now, go back and look at what happened the last time we got in there. Okay, so we were here. What happened when we were in here last time? Last time we were in here for XLM, Stellar Lumens, just in this example, we saw a 28% pump. That's pretty big for a coin this big. So what does that tell me? Well, it tells me that there's a good chance of that happening again. There's no guarantee though, guys, so obviously do your own research. But I'm just saying right now, you've got a great opportunity to be DCAing in some of your favorite coins, given the narrative that's happening in the world with crypto right now. You've got China, the Hong Kong deal. You've got Beijing releasing that news about Web3. So much exciting stuff. Guys, if you want to find out more about what to invest in, what I'm buying right now, then you just get into my inner circle telegram, which is linked down below in the description. I told guys in there back in March about a coin called Tenet, and that has since then done a 12X. In that telegram back on the 30th of March, I told people I was buying a coin called Tenet at ICO. Since then, you can see it's up 10X, and it launched literally just six days ago, guys. You could have made a 10X on your money in just six days through the Inner Circle Telegram, which you can find through the free House of Crypto Telegram link down below in the description. There's loads of super valuable stuff going on in there all the time, guys, so I'd love to have you over there. If you enjoyed today's video, guys, do me a favor, hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, you want to learn more about how to trade crypto and what's going on all the time, then make sure you subscribe, and I will see you very soon in another video. Bye-bye.